Hey, it's Wabbit. Good to be back with you. I do hope this finds you well. So, uh, you may have heard me say before that I'm a fan of the iPad, but not using the glass. Uh, what, what I mean by that is turning uh, parameters, knobs on the glass. Uh, I have the Launch Control XL, and I use this when I'm here in the hutch um, to control. Not every video that you see that I will do that. Many times if I'm just sitting on the couch, then I, I, I'll deal with it. Uh, but when I'm really here, I, I like to try and do this. Now, one of the downsides with this potentially is needing to um, MIDI learn each time you launch an app. Um, and, and that can be kind of a downside, especially if you're the type of person that just wants to fire something up and go. And that's where hardware um, has a strong advantage because everything's there, you turn it on and you go. There's no need to MIDI learn on those. However, I want to offer uh, a option for you to consider to potentially uh, lessen that time and that's basically saving uh, templates within um, AUM. So I'm going to walk you through this process. Um, I have not tested this with every single app. I'm going to demonstrate two. Uh, so please understand that your mileage may vary. Um, at the time of this recording, you know, this is where I'm at. Things may change down the road. Um, so I'm not presenting this as a 100%. This is going to work across the board. Um, but for the most part, um, I've done this before, and uh, it's a nice little option to have. So again, iPad here. Now, I'm using an iPad with a USB Type-C. Uh, I would imagine if you have a Lightning port, um, you're just going to need the appropriate connection. Uh, and I have a Launch Control XL. Now, what I'm using is a USB Type-B, because that's what's on this device here. And then I've got a USB Type-C uh, cable here. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. Um, this is going to power on the device. And we'll go ahead and launch AUM. And I'm gonna just go ahead and create an audio track. And let's just pick an app. And then when I open the app, um, there's these uh, little lines here. I just click on that third one. And you're gonna see this little icon here when I tap on that, actually, when I click on that, I need to make sure I have a MIDI source connected. So I tap on here, Launch Control XL, Launch Control. I don't know that there's a difference between XL, HUI. I just picked the XL one. Then let's come back and click this icon. And a blue box will go around the app. You'll see it kind of wiggle. And basically, it's asking me to turn a knob on here to do the MIDI learn. So we'll pick this one here. This window will pop up. I tap learn and then I just turn my knob and it's going to be mapped here. Now I can say done if that's all I want to do or say next. Go to my next one that I want to learn. Same thing here. Do next. Learn. And then we'll just say done for this one. So Turning this knob, you see that turns, that one, and that one there. Okay, now the next step that I want to do is come over here to this hamburger icon and say save. Now you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to say just to keep things short, cont mini because this was continua. Say done, and now that is saved. All right. I'm going to do one more application while I'm in here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this track. And then let's pull up another synth app. I'm just going to pick Animoog. And we'll go through the same process. This should have, um, I, I shouldn't need to do this step again because, again, what I'm doing here is at the system level or app level, so to speak, for AUM. Um, but same process here, blue box, I'm just going to turn a knob, learn, and that one's done. So I'm just going to do one for that one. And same type of thing here, let's save this, and let's call this Moog, Moog, MIDI, done. All right, so we're going to exit out of, or actually force quit AUM, and now 
I'm going to unplug. And what this is going to simulate is you're done for the day, you're done with your session, jam, whatever. And then let's say you come back the next time and you go to plug in. And let's go ahead and load up AUM. Got a brand new instance, but remember I have those templates saved. So to access those hamburger icon, now we go to files and we go to sessions. So there are the two that I created. Let's just go ahead and pull up the Moog MIDI and let's open this up. And it was this little knob here that I MIDI learned. So when I turn that, you'll see that it still remembers that. We can go ahead and close this channel or track out and let's bring up the Cont MIDI one. And we did these three. So there you go. So again, this is a nice way to save yourself some time. Again, if you have um, this device. Now, I would imagine that, let's say you've got a Fader Fox. It probably would be the same concept, but again, I can't speak um, to any other controllers because this is the, the, the only one that I really have. Um, so give it a shot, um, follow that process or those steps and see how it works for you. Um, and then next time you know that you want to fire things up, if you like using the tactile, this will save you some time and you have the option now uh, to create templates. And, and I think it uh, is a nice way to give you that option if you're into it. Thank you for your time. If you have any additional questions, feel free to drop them down below. I hope this helps you out. Uh, stay safe, have fun, and I hope to catch you in another video. Until then, keep jamming.